Reporting on August 25, 2023, France's Governmental Unemployment Registration and Financial Aid Agency, Pôle Emploi, has reported a significant data breach affecting approximately 10 million individuals. The breach was linked to a violation of the information system of one of Pôle Emploi's providers. The breach potentially exposed personal data of job seekers, particularly those registered in February 2022 and former users of the job center. While the agency does not explicitly confirm the number of affected individuals, estimates from sources suggest around 10 million people were impacted. The compromised data includes full names and social security numbers, but sensitive information like email addresses, phone numbers, passwords, and banking details remained unaffected. Although the exposed data might have limited utility for cybercrime operations, Pôle Emploi advises affected job seekers to exercise caution with incoming communications. The agency has established a dedicated phone support line to address concerns from affected individuals. Pôle Emploi assures that its financial aid programs remain unaffected by the breach, and job seekers can continue to access the agency's online employment portal with confidence. The agency is actively working to secure the data of job seekers and is implementing additional protective measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. The breach is attributed to a service provider associated with Pôle Emploi, with security firm Emsisoft confirming the impact on 10 million individuals. However, the group responsible for the breach, the Klopp ransomware gang, has not published the agency's information on its extortion site. This discrepancy might be linked to the group's strategy of not exposing data obtained from breaches in government agencies. Pole Emploi's breach ranks second in terms of the number of affected individuals, following a breach at Maximus that exposed data from 11 million people. Overall, the MoveIt attack campaign, linked to the Klopp ransomware gang, has compromised 59.2 million individuals and nearly 988 organizations.